All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is a uh, hmm, Celebrity Family Feud Political Edition. Uh, this will be Team Clinton versus Team Trump. Uh, coming from SNL. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh, let's get it. It's time to play Family Feud Political Edition. And here's your host, Steve Harvey. Welcome to Family Feud for this. All right, bro, the teeth are absolutely correct. Medical edition. We back from a two-week break. I was out getting my teeth enlarged. I figured it. Okay, today we have a big old rivalry. We got Team Hillary Clinton taking on Team Donald Trump. And on the Trump side, we got Trump campaign manager Kellyanne Conway. Thanks. Thank I've heard you. this Thank name. Thank you for having us on Jeopardy. Right. Uh, yeah, I've heard the name. I have no idea who she is. This Family Feud. Yeah, okay, so so this is Jeopardy, and if you look at all the signs, and, and you are Alex Trebek, but let's talk about the real Jeopardy, which is the situation Hillary Clinton put us in taking money from Saudi princes, and everyone here on Wheel of Fortune can see that. Oh, yeah, well, this isn't a Wheel of Fortune, but fair play. i seen you on TV. You always look like the last 10 minutes of prom. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what? Next, we got Donald Trump's daughter, Ivanka. Of course. What a pleasure it is to be here, Steve. This is fun. I love fun. Every day I schedule 20 minutes of fun. Right. Oh, you sexy. Right. Yeah, I know that might sound inappropriate, but if your daddy can say it, so can I. What happened? Next up, <laughs> oh, we no. got Governor Chris Christie. I mean, she, she, she's nice looking, though. Christie. Hey, Jersey Strong, Steve. <laughs> now, why are you still with Trump? Is he going to put you to a cabinet position or something? Uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Ooh. Bro, stay over the bridge. Stay in Jersey. Don't cross no bridges. Too easy. <laughs> and finally on Team Trump, oh, my God, it's Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Trump actually friends? Uh, we are Facebook friends. Oh, okay. Oh, you creepy. I mean, I would expect two heads of states to, you know, uh, at least have some type of positive decorum. Let's go. Last week I had a nightmare about you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Let's go to the Hillary Clinton side. First, Let's we got go. my main man, Bill Clinton. Bro, are we clapping this hard for Bill Clinton right now? Hello, Steve. Okay. I love the feud. Okay, hey, at least he sure knows the okay show. With Hillary being president instead of you? I mean, I can't wait. Believe you me, I freaking love the White House. I mean, you know, I can hang out there, you know, no presidential stuff to do. Red phone rings, and I say, hey, you take that one, honey. I'll be downstairs watching the police academy. <laughs> okay, next yeah. up, we got comedian and Hillary Clinton supporter Sarah Silverman. Oh, my God. <laughs> we might be electing the first woman president. I feel so much pride from my head to my vagina. <laughs> well, that shouldn't really matter. I mean, her policy should matter more so. Right? I mean, I'd rather elect a, a, the first woman president and she's like, you know, great for the country, right? Not as controversial as she uh, very specifically was, right? Not, no issue with a woman or a man, doesn't matter, right? But if they are really good at what they're doing, then maybe, right? Just I'm not, I'm not going to vote for her because she's a woman. <laughs> Oh, you that nasty kind of adorable. <laughs> and next, we got Hamilton creator and the number one rapper on PBS, Lynn PBS. Moet, Lynn Manuel Miranda. <laughs> go, Steve, when you're asking for words is, my mind starts going with a couple of verses, not verses as in the left. Stop right now. It's in the right, it's the right and the wrong that keeps me up at night. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Was there a beat that I didn't hear? Right. <laughs> no? Okay. Finally, we got Senator Bernie Sanders. Yeah. Hello, 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 Steve. 
When did this actually start? The whole thing is hellos. My grandmother can knit a sweater in that time. Are <laughs> well, you out here supporting Hillary? Absolutely. Look, Senator Clinton is the prune juice of this election. I mean, he was forced to after he was basically, you know, pushed out, let's say. Uh, but our... She might not seem that appetizing, but if you no. don't take her now, you're going to be clogged with crap for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not a good thing for, for politics, though. Uh, just by saying, hey, listen, you, yeah, you have to pick the, the better of two evils. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're both terrible. They're both terrible candidates. Absolutely. They're both terrible candidates. Um, I don't like uh, either of them, personally, right? Um, but, all right, I mean, I guess you have to pick the... But, again, still, I, I would just rather sit out than pay attention to that nonsense. Yes, yes, the shake, of course. Very important to shake. Yes, yes. Okay. 100 what people surveyed, top five answers on the board. Name a reason people give for being late. Kelly Ann. Okay, well, Steve, I do not have an answer, even though I did buzz in. Um, so I'll do what I usually do, which is talk and talk until people forget the question, and then I'm going to make an insane claim about Hillary. Um, uh, Hillary Clinton is North Korean. <laughs> Okay, then. All right. Show me a bunch of lies. <laughs> this man says, show me a bunch of lies. There's a reason people give for being late. You need go a ahead. reason why I'm late? Look at me. Everywhere I go, it looks like I just finished chasing a bus. Okay. Show me. Looking like a Jewish wine What? Hey. Mr. Bus. Okay, y'all want to play a pass? Let's play. play. You know what? We're going to pass. <laughs> but your teammates say they want to play. Yeah, good for them. We're going to pass. <laughs> oh, this is a hit job, guys. Like, completely. Completely. So, obviously, whatever you know, this show here, um, I'm guessing that they were probably Team Hillary based off of kind of what we're encountering here. Uh, obviously, this, this Kellyanne person um, is on the other side. So, of course, they have a lot to say, you know, in regards to it by making her look like kind of an idiot here. And uh, kind of Bernie Sanders also. Um, that's an interesting thing here, guys. But your teammates say they want to play. Yeah, good for them. We're going to pass. <laughs> Seems like a hassle. All right, let's go to Team Trump. Okay, Ivanka Trump, what's the reason people give for being late? What an interesting and wonderful question. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and guess that, they're all, that they specifically are going to all give idiotic answers based off the writers of this episode. Steve, may I ask my brothers for help? They not here. <laughs> what? Yes, we are. <laughs> Go! Who's this? I'm Donald Jr., the brains. I'm Ivanka, the beauty. Right. And I'm Eric. Absolutely. <laughs> Bro, I'm, I'm, I have no idea who Eric is. Cause I think I've heard of Donald Trump Jr. I think I've encountered his, you know, uh, somewhere. I have no idea. Maybe on news or something that I haven't watched potentially but i have no idea i've never heard of eric before bro what does he do okay show me children of the corn children of the corn stop up there too bad <laughs> all right chris christie a reason people give for being late well i'm late because i've been working very hard on behalf of mr donald trump oh you really like him now, you said some horrible things about him in the primaries, though. Nah, it's water under the bridge, Steve. Again, Christy! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what is it with the bridge, guys? Let's just go over to Vladimir Putin. Why does he have no shirt? Why does he have no shirt? Yeah. Let's not. Right. Yeah, we're not even going to do that. Team Clinton is your chance to steal. Oh, Ivanka, what you doing over here? We're just getting acquainted. This is real. Now, this right here, I believe it. Bill Clinton would absolutely, uh, most likely hit on Ivanka. Uh, absolutely. Mandatory. That's just what he does. Guys. He's very nice. Do you right. like wings? Really good wings. <laughs> <laughs> William, William Jefferson Clinton. All right, everybody, give me some answers. Come on, reason why people are late. 
That's my business. I was so high. Love is love is love is love. <laughs> okay, good answer there, Bernie Sanders. Final guess, a reason why you're late. Maybe you're late because people like Jill Stein call you in the middle of the night asking you for advice. That woman drives me nuts. For someone who cares about the environment, right. she sure doesn't mind asking people to throw their votes away, huh? 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 Pretty throw the votes away by voting for the Green Party. Okay, I get what they're saying here, guys. Who doesn't gonna... mind asking people to throw their votes away, huh? 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 <laughs> huh? Pretty clever. You didn't know I was so clever, did you? Huh? Eh. <laughs> you got a lot on your mind. Right. <laughs> Show me bothered by Jill Stein. Oh! oh. Well, once again, Hillary gets that high. Hey, hey, listen. I mean, I, uh, th those are 32 weird people, bro. They weren't money. Absolutely. During which time I stay in my shoes and I don't talk to nobody. We'll see ya. All right, guys, this was, you know, I get it, right? A parody of real life here. Um, but not really, right? To understand that this was very targeted. Uh, this is obviously meant for a very targeted audience, let's say. They were targeting most likely based off of the overall pacing of this, um, people who supported uh, Hillary Clinton, guys. And most likely women uh, based off of Sarah Silverman's uh, response. Um, but all right. Yeah, <laughs> guys, let me know in the comments if I should be checking out any more of these uh, sketches. We do have a lot here on the channel, uh, but we have not actually done these in a while, so I was definitely surprised to see uh, you know, one of these cross the table, guys, right? Um, but all right, let's, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day yeah, thoroughly. <laughs>